He is the host of CRTV's Levin TV, the host of Life, Liberty, Levin, right here on the Fox News Channel. By the way, the number one show on Sunday night by far. Uh, we call him the great one, Mark Levin. Mark, I'm just going to throw it right to you. We've seen a lot over the years. I've been doing radio 30 years. I've been at the Fox News Channel since October 1996. It's never been this awful, and it's been bad a lot of times. A couple things here. First of all, notice there's no blue dress here. Out of these three accusers, there's not a single eyewitness. There's not a single corroborating witness. There's not a single shred of evidence. So that's what they have in common. No case, which is exactly why the Democrats believe that only the Senate Judiciary Committee, the Bill of Rights don't apply. Only the Senate Judiciary Committee, the Constitution doesn't apply. No due process, no presumption of innocence, because they have to make that case. Because you want to know why? I believe Brett Kavanaugh. I believe Brett Kavanaugh. The Democrats, their lawyers, their operatives, the Senate, their staffers, all scheming around in the shadows. They've come up with literally nothing tangible or concrete. The reason why they blow this off, that it's not a court of law, is because that's how totalitarians think. And so you have people who make accusations. This isn't about women's rights. It's not even about women. There are millions and millions of women out there, many of them watching your show. My wife, my mother, my daughter, my stepdaughter, my, uh, my mother-in-law and so forth, who don't believe any of this. There's tens of millions of women who find this entire spectacle, it's not a hearing, it's a spectacle, it's a Roman Colosseum. They're throwing them to the lines. They find this disgusting. Liberals don't speak for women. Did Ted Kennedy speak for Mary Jo Kopechny? Did Bill Clinton speak for all the women that he uh, sexually assaulted? I don't think so. Now, people keep saying Brett Kavanaugh had six FBI background investigations. How many background investigations did Ms. Ford have? Zero. How about the other accusers? How many FBI background investigations did they have? Zero. As a matter of fact, it's very interesting to me, all these left-wing Democrat lawyers who represent uh, these accusers, they know where the Montgomery County Police Department is. They haven't walked a single one of their clients into that law enforcement office to file a complaint against Mr. Kavanaugh. They keep talking about the FBI. The jurisdiction is Montgomery County, Maryland, boys, and you know where it is. Why don't you go ahead and file your complaints there? And I'll tell you why. Because then the rule of law actually kicks in. And they don't want the rule of law to apply. And I'm starting to wonder about the Senate Judiciary Committee, Sean. They're either filled with perverts or totalitarians. It's one or the other. They are gleeful. They're exciting. They're salivated all over this. It is a, a disgusting spectacle. Now, a couple of other things I want to mention, which is this. Look at this latest example. This lady comes forward. Her ex-boyfriend comes forward and Politico reports he doesn't believe a word that she says. Avenatti, Avenatti's back. The slip and fall porn lawyer. The Democrats embrace him. They embrace the argument. Ms. Ramirez didn't want to come forward. The Democrat staff go find her, try and drag her forward. No corroborating witnesses. Her memory suddenly is, is uh, HD uh, color clear, uh, but she's not going to testify. Then we have Dr. Ford. I've never understood this Dr. Ford issue. She wanted to remain private, so where does she go? To the Washington Post. Now, here's the thing. I keep hearing all over television, of course. I want to hear what Dr. Ford has to say. Of course, she has a right to say. Well, of course. We all want to hear what Dr. Ford has to say. But Dr. Ford is an adult. She's a professor. She has a PhD. She's made an allegation against another human being. She needs to be cross-examined aggressively. She's not the bubble lady. She needs to be questioned. When somebody accuses somebody of a horrific crime, 36 years after the fact, said nothing to anybody else that we know of, at least there's no witness of any kind, the Ford people she mentioned say, no, nope, that's not true. Ms. Ford needs to be questioned and thoroughly. And I want the American people to understand something. This entire process, from Bork to Clarence Thomas and all the rest up to now, has been hijacked by the radical left. Look at the Democrats on this committee. It's the most radical bunch imaginable. You've got Gillibrand, you've got Feinstein, Durbin, Kamala Harris, Booker, all from dark blue states, one-party states, who are trying to appeal to the most radical crazies in their party. We need to stand up to this.
All right, Mark Levin, uh, thank you. And could you imagine that 10 parties, boys lining up, drugging women, nobody ever said anything, and it happened more weekends? Uh, unbelievable.